Hey guys, I wanted to show you my Goodwill find. Um, Karen and I was at Goodwill yesterday looking for glass. Uh, we actually do, we build uh, bird baths out of repurposed glass. And, uh, sorry about the traffic again. It seems to be heavy today. But anyway, we was over there looking for some glass vases and some other things, and uh, we found a few glass pieces, but also found these things, um, and I had a little bit of a sale going on yesterday. This is, uh, don't know if you remember seeing these back in the 70s. It's uh, I believe it's an old soup type thermos and uh, it's an Aladdin brand and uh, it's, uh, it's a one quart capacity but I believe it's an old soup thermos if I remember right and uh, of course it's all plastic and uh, there's another one of them plastic things back in the 70s that was a good thing. But you can put coffee or soup in it. Big, nice, wide, wide mouth cup. Um, they had it for eight bucks. And uh, they had a sale yesterday. It was on, uh, it was on clothing, wares, and electrical stuff. So it was 50% off for those things. Well, this is considered wear, so I got this for four bucks. And uh, I actually picked it up, showed it to my wife, and asked her if she remembered them, and yes. And I kind of wanted it, but put it back down because I thought, well, not today, you know. So I ended up, uh, she must have picked it up again as I was in another aisle. And, uh, she put it in our basket and I didn't know about it till we got up to the front. But I'm glad she picked it back up because I really wanted it. That was a good find to me. Uh, there's another one. I found uh, a camera tripod. And uh, it's a halfway decent one. It's uh, got a little bubble leveler on it. And a uh, little pin for your uh, camera. A lot of cameras have those pins on them. And, uh, you know, it's got all the features of most of them. And extendable legs. And this was for eight bucks again. And uh, this was in the electrical section, so four dollar buy. For a camera tripod you can't beat it it's used but i mean it's okay it's a good one now the for the thing that i really liked i bought this bag here because i needed a bag for my uh my cooking sets and cooking stuff um i seen it over there liked it it doesn't have a lot of compartments or nothing. It's just your standard, like small duffel. Of course, it has a hard bottom on it. And it was not on sale. And uh, it was for eight bucks, if you can see that eight dollars and guess what i got a senior discount so my discount on this bag was two and a half dollars off of it so it's cost me about five and a half bucks not bad for a good duffel it has nice stainless zippers on it they won't rust or anything and uh, 
Got a nice shoulder swing and two carry handles in case I want to carry it like a duffel, just like that. And uh, I don't know what brand it is, but it's got like a globe on it. And uh, got little hard little leggies on the bottom, which I wasn't crazy about, but it'll keep it up out of the off the ground, I guess, and probably be a better bag. Anyway, I was looking around again, and uh, this was part of a, the same set here. And my wife was talking about uh, having a go bag in her car, so this one's bigger than that one is, I think. Well, maybe it's deeper, but not longer. So I picked it up too, and uh, it was ten dollars. If you can see that there, ten dollars, and uh, with our senior discount, it's two and a half off of this one too. So we got it for seven and a half bucks, and this one actually has a, a pull-out handle and wheels on this end. Um, also, this one has a couple other compartments. It's got, if you unzip this down in the bottom, it's got a big pouch. Um, also, another side compartment. Um, and this is all, see there, big old side compartment. This is all canvas type material. Good heavy duty, nice zippers. Um, of course, it's got a, a double handle and a sling. Um, so I thought this would make a good go bag for her. Of course, it's got the little leggies on the bottom. But uh, she'll be able to put a blanket and some emergency gear in here, some clothing. and. Uh, fire starters and some other things. It's a pretty nice bag to put in her car. Um, they also had, actually had a big suitcase. It was probably, stand up on end, it was probably about three foot tall. And uh, it was the same brand as this with a, with a globe on it. Uh, one $15 for it. I didn't buy it because we've got a bunch of those suitcases so I mean it would have been something that probably would have been sitting around but it would have been a match set all three pieces but I didn't buy it and then I got something else in here bought this bag to put in her uh, to put her laptop in and it's uh, like a briefcase satchel thing and uh, it's got a couple different compartments on the inside um, it's got another pouch on the side with another compartment in it um, that's all kind of expandable and then here's another pouch here with a couple compartments in it and uh, this one cost me uh, here's what's on the tag another ten dollars and uh, with our senior discount two and a half off of it so seven and a half bucks for this too so all in all, I think I done pretty good, darn good yesterday. And of course, we bought a bunch of glass for our bird bass. She's making a bunch of bird bass for Christmas presents for my brother. And uh, all I wanted to do was find a bag that I could put my cook kit and all that kind of stuff in, because 
this thing, which I bought to put all my gear in, it's full. So, as you can see, got everything in the world in there. So I wanted to kind of separate my cook kit. So I'm going to do that with this bag. That way, I can just keep keep it all in the truck and keep it handy in the cook kit. I can just grab you know if I want to do a, a cooking video outside so I guess that's all guys I'll, uh, I'll see you next time and thanks for watching see you later